Hey, this is John back with another tutorial, SketchUp tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about dynamic components. Um, this is a house that I'm modeling for some people out in Colorado. And uh, so I just got started with it. The kitchen's in here. That's no cabinets yet. That's uh, why wow, that little piece of baseboard is waiting for to butt into some cabinets. Um, they wanted to go with a five panel ca uh, craftsman style door. So I, uh, I made each of these components as dynamic components. If you look at the dynamic components menu here. So when I click on them, they open up and swivel 90 degrees and then I just have them shut. So I do this not just to be cool, but you know, when I'm doing renderings or animations, there's times when I want the doors open or times when I want them closed. Um, so that's where dynamic components really come in handy. But today we're going to talk about how to make these barn doors slide. Um, this is a pretty cool design I haven't seen uh, before. I've done plenty of barn doors, but I've never seen it come into a corner like that until recently. Uh, the barn door, the doors slabs, I just made as five panel doors and I made the handles. But I downloaded this uh, barn door kit off of the 3D warehouse and just modified it to fit. Um, made it come into an angle here. I put the uh, rollers on the actual component itself so that they'll move with it. And uh, so that's part of the component. The handle, the door slab, and the roller pieces of hardware are on there. So what I want them to do is I want them to come together uh, to a close and uh, just to um, and right now I've got them flush so that when they're open, they're flush with the with the jams. I'm just going to add a little uh, using the T for tape measure there. I'm going to just add a guide to the edge of the doors. So I, when I close them, I can put them right back where they were. But this one, I want it to go over open the left arrow key and I'm going to infer the side of the door here. OK, and then I want this one. And to move when it shuts, I want to use the, oh, there we go. All right, so I want them to come together like that. So that'll look good when, it, good when it's done. All right, so I'm going to undo and undo. So the way we're going to do that is by use of adding attributes to this component to make it dynamic here. Um, Let's take a look at this. Right now I've got a three foot nine barn one and three foot nine barn two over here. I've got them as unique components, not the same component because I want them to be able to actively work differently. So uh, open individually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an attribute and we're gonna do the position of Y. Y, if you can see here, is in the green axis and my green axis in SketchUp is running in this direction. So we're gonna be moving the Y uh, position of this door. The grayed out number is where it is in SketchUp world. It's at 64.627 in the Y position. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to note that position at uh, 64.627. And what I want it to do, as we said before, is we want this, this to move. Uh, I'm going to hit the left key on my keyboard. There we go. We're moving it over to that door location. So now we got our new location is at 20.627. All right. So what we want to do is we want to move it from the first position to the 20.627 position. I'm just going to undo that right now. I wrote that number down, the 20.627. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an attribute now of called on click. All right. And then come, come into this box here and we'll go to functions and we want to animate it. So I'm going to come down to animate and then I'm going to insert that in and I'm going to hit enter because if you don't, it won't lock it in. All right. What we want to do is we want to animate the attribute. I'm just double clicking on that and choosing Y. We want to, we want to move the position of Y to uh, two different states. I want it to be open and shut. So I'm going to go through these states now. The next position that I, when I click on it, I want it to go to that 20.627 position. So I'm going to do a comma and then it's going to wind up at the 64.627 uh, that we see up above there and enter. Now, when I do the little dynamic component deal, it moves it over where it's supposed to go. Pretty slick. All right. So let's do the same thing on this other door and um, let's go ahead and shut this door right now or excuse me. There we go. So now we want to do the same thing with this door here. We've, we're adding an attribute this time of the X position and we can see that it's at 313.22. Okay. Um, and then I want to move it 
I want this one to move from here to here and its final position at 270.657. Okay, so let's go back where we were. Do a little auto save, doing the spin right there. Okay, let's go back. All right, so we're at 313.22. All right, so now we're going to come in and add an attribute of on click, just like we did before. Clicking inside there, and I'm going to insert the same one that I already had. This time I'm going to choose X. And when it's in its other state, I'm going to get rid of these states in here. And remember, there's a comma separating these. I want it to go to 270.657. Then I want it to go back to its current position at 313.22 and hit enter. Now when I go to close it, they come together perfectly. Get rid of my little guides there. So that's how it works. Um, it's, it's fairly simple and uh, looks pretty cool and it's pretty effective. So when you're doing your uh, renderings and animations and such, you can um, have it in a better, you know, a different state. So that is it for now. And uh, thanks for watching.